remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? As the U.S. scrambles to deal with the spread of the coronavirus, panic buying is spreading across the country as well. People are getting all of the toilet paper they need, all of the sanitizer they need. Medical masks are sold out around the world. But one thing that people are not talking about that's selling out is guns. Americans are emptying the shelves at gun stores across the nation, preparing for dun, 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 civil unrest. Even the liberals are buying up guns. Nobody's really talking about gun control at this moment. Like there's nobody waving the flag for gun control. Nobody's saying stop buying the guns. Like even the liberals are buying guns. I know people who have guns with no bullets and they are very afraid now because they can't buy bullets now because ammunition is sold out everywhere what do y'all think family you think it's going to be some civil unrest so the social distancing is scaring the hell out of people people think that hey, it's just a matter of time the longer this thing goes on uh the better the chance that people are going to start going up into people's houses and just taking what they want this is why i'm an advocate for guns because we live in a bully society. America is a bully society. And this is a country where people uh, tend to take from those who they feel is inferior to them. People that they feel are weak. The, the strong always tries to take from the weak. This is the type of country we live in. The criminals are not giving up their guns. People who have bad intention are not giving up their guns. So why should a person who wants to protect his family give up their gun? Look, think about it. Let's say all the guns were gone right now. Let's say the gun control thing worked it and came in and took everybody's guns. And now we're at a point to where we're real close to martial law. What do you think would happen in this country I'm not talking about Norway. I'm talking about America, killer America. What do you think would happen if martial law happened in America and 99% of Americans didn't have guns? What do you think would happen? I can tell you what would happen. Invasion, home invasions would increase by 20,000%. You'll have people just coming up to people's houses, just straight up kicking the door in. Get down, get on the floor. You wouldn't be able to come out of the house. The best you could do is try to scare, scare people off by boarding everything up and saying, you know, uh, beware of honor and put a little picture of a gun. Draw a gun, because you ain't got a gun, so you got to draw a gun. Come on, family. I'm not with it. Gun control to an extent, but I'm not with giving up those guns. Look at those lines, family. Have you ever seen? The lines to buy guns are damn near as long as the lines to buy hand sanitizer and toilet paper. What does that tell you? They're not buying guns just to have guns. A lot of people are buying guns because, you know, quite honestly, there are some people that look forward to uh, a civil war, martial law, social unrest, because they ain't got nothing to live for anyway. 
They ain't really about nothing. So they don't really care about living in a harmonious society. So y'all better be careful out there, family. If you got your guns, uh, hold on to them tight. Uh, go try to find you some ammunition because you don't know how long this thing's going to last. Make sure you stockpile. All these people running around here talking about toilet paper and, and hand sanitizer. If it go down, what you going to do? Clean your hands, wipe your butt, and throw it on them? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.